okay so welcome back to this course so in the previous video we have set up our product producer and actions and on this video I want to pull out the data from the uh, state basically so I simply go to my home.js and let first of all let's import here two things so import and I have to import from react redux okay now you have to bring in two things first of all the use dispatch okay you have to dispatch from here and also you have to uh, select the use selector uh, because i want to select from the state all right and after that let's also bring in our function so import get products uh, from slash actions slash the product actions all right now let's go here i'm going to use here use effect hook okay so in the use effect i have to pass here an empty uh, arrow function and then the dependencies array so you a use effect is the hook that is going to run uh when this component basically loads so this is the first thing that is going to run when this component loads it is pretty much like the constructor of a class all right so we also have to bring in the use effect hook okay so definitely uh, in this we have to call up a function so simply type here cons dispatch equals to use dispatch all right and then i simply call in here the uh, dispatch now dispatch from here the get products all right and also pass in this dispatch as a dependency all right so we know that use effect runs when this component basically loads so this is the first thing that is basically going to run that will get all the products all right so now if i simply save it okay so now if i go back to my uh here go to the inspect and go to the redux and so all products fail the console all right so if we go back so the proxy error could not proxy api v1 products from local this run to http oh that is https we have to remove this as from here that is actually the local host so we have to use the http so i'm press control s and press ctrl s and now if i go back and go to redux now you can see that um i have to restart the server basically so control c and restart my front end because i have changed the proxy we don't have to use the https we have to use http okay so i hope that assignment will work I go to the inspect, redux, and you can see that now all products success. So if I go to my state, you can see that we have products. In that products, we have loading to false, and then the product that has our four products. We know that we have implemented the pagination of the backend, so it is only giving us the uh, four products: so one, two, three, and four. All right, and. We're only getting the products i also want to get the uh, products count if we go to my back end product controller that is product count that is products count press control s and now if i go back reload it now we also get back here uh products count products count is not defined press control s and now reload you will see here and now we have our uh, product here products all products you can see that four products and then the products count is nine we have nine total products in the database all right so now we are successfully getting our products now let's render them on the ui 
what I do is I simply go back to my home.js and I simply have to uh, pull the pull the products from the state. So what I do is I simply type here const. I have to pull the loading. Then I have to pull the products. Then the error. If there is some error, then also the products count. We have all these things in the in the our state. So we have to select it using the use selector. All right. So state. And state dot products all right so we know that this is product so you have to get the loading products product count and if there is some error all right so now what I do is I put a loop here so what I do is I simply type here make sure that products exist and then products dot map for each product, uh, we basically have to render this one. So I simply cut it from here and paste it here. Press Ctrl S, and now we simply have to uh, give give this key. Uh, key will be the product dot underscore id right so let's just only get the product names so I simply type in here the product dot name so let's save it now I go back uh, you can see that here we get our all four products with different names right so let's bring in everything so the src is going to be product dot images and we know that there are multiple images so i'm going to select the first image of zero dot url right and let's check it out so we get all the images here now let's get the price so the reviews that is product dot none of reviews okay and we also have to bring in the price so that is product the price we save it and if I go back we will see how we have different prices here now let's also fill this rating so to fill this uh, in the rating inner class I give it a attribute of style okay we just have to give it a width okay so what is the width that we have to give if we give 20% width then we have that we are going to get one star if it is 40 percent then we are going to get two, uh, two stars like this so what i do is i simply type here that product dot ratings and i'm going to divide that rating by five okay and then we will simply multiply it with the hundred so hundred and then we add percent percentage sign here okay so for example if if, if it is have five ratings so this, this will be five so five divided by five will be one so one multiplied by hundred will be hundred so we'll get hundred percent of the stars which is the five stars all right so I'm gonna press ctrl s go back and okay so I think so we don't have reviews for this so we get this field, get this field, and not for these. All right, fine. So now we're getting our products on the back end. Let's now create a separate component for them. So I thought what I do is I simply 
first of all in the components i'm going to create a new folder here that is called product okay in the product i'm going to create one new file here that is called the product product.js so r a c f e to create one basic snippet and in that i simply uh, have to get two things from here uh, one thing from here right now that is product and we also have to get the column when we will add our filters all right just we have to bring in the product right now so what i do is i simply go to my home and i have to get this so i cut it from here Control x put that here Remove this key from here, press Ctrl S. Okay. Now we go to the home. And now here I have to bring in the product component. So I simply type here import the product from the dot slash uh, product slash the product. Alright. And then let's put in here the product component. We have to pass in the product so that is going to be the current product then simply close this tag and also let's give the key to this component so that is going to be product underscore id so whenever we use this map function we also have to give our component a unique key and we know that product id is always unique so we will give you a key is equal to product id all right simply so save it and if i go back reload it you are going to get the same result all right and if i go back one more thing is that i'm not going to use here a tag i want to use a link here so what i do is i simply import the link from react dash router dash dom so what happened here is we also want to add here the path uh, to here so that is slash product slash the id of that product what i do i simply wrap it in the tactics so slash product and slash the id of that product so the product dot underscore id okay let's also give this path to uh, the title that is this one okay press control s now if I go back to my Chrome, if I click on it, you can see that it is refreshing here. If I go back, click on it, you can see that I don't have to refresh my page. So, so to avoid it, I have to use the component link that is present in direct router DOM. Now if I type here link instead of A, okay, and we have to use here 2 instead of href, okay, and the same way I have to use here link. And side of Ezra, I have to use here too. Now, notice that when I type here link, my closing tag automatically get renamed. I have used extension called auto rename. You can also use that. So, simply so save it. And now, if I go back and now if I click on view details, you can see that now it is not loading here. All right? Click on it, now it is not loading. All right, good. So, now we are successfully getting our products from the back end and displaying them on the basically front end. Let's go to our backend and change the uh, restart page to 8. Save it. Now if I reload, I get here 8 products. Right? Good. And now if, if I reload it, uh, this takes some time to load. So I have to use here a loader component that when the loading is true, we know that we have managed a variable that is called loading. So whenever the loading is going to be true, I want to display a proper loader 
and if dotting is false then I have to display the result right for example if I can show you here uh, in the home we have here the loading we can simply type here that if there is loading and I have to display here for example let's put in here the h1 tag type here loading and I'm going to add proper component of loading in my next video just to show you I'm going to add here the ternary operator else we have to put in here the fragment and the fragment I will put my all data this one oh, that is question mark okay and on the press control s go back now if i click on reload you will see here loading it quickly goes away uh, this one so let me go to the products controller to show you better i set here set timeout let's set here uh, 200 milliseconds and let's put in here the response save it and now if I go back and reload it, you will see here loading and now you can get all the products. Alright, so I have to display the proper loader instead of this uh, loading. Alright, I hope that you understand why I, I want to add the loader. For example, if it takes two seconds, then rather than displaying the blank screen, I want to display a proper loader. Alright, let's go back and now in my next video, I'm going to add the loader.